Hey, welcome back to Train Sim, and today we're in, we are in the class 180. This is the 1633 departure to London King's Cross. Four passengers here first, okay? So we here, we are here in the class 180. Very nice. Very unique unit in the National Rail Network. Maybe you know, because, because first kind of give up with them. To, because of technical faults. And we have score text here, it should say London King's Cross. So we need to put the reverse as who we said it AWS. Put the coupler back. The coupler hatch down. Like that. And at the other end. Like this. Next up is Thursk at 16.43. So we can uh, depart. Don't, uh, don't want to miss the sound. Uh, put out some random numbers in here. Like that. Doesn't really do much. Here we have a single cautionary signal as we go on to the orps flow. So on to the orps flow, the speed limit is 70 and I can see down there we've now got a green. This is a passenger view which for some reason has the first group type seating. So today we're following this train, 1A66, 1530 Sunderland to King's Cross, coming at Sunderland, Hasselpool, Eagles Cliff, Rathalton, Thursk, York, and London King's Cross. So we're taking this part from Northallerton to Thursk to York. Should be a very pleasant journey. So the speed limit is now going up to 80 miles an hour in just now. We can put the power to 25% and then put on the cruise speed set. We can put on speed set when we get to 80. I've never actually been on the class 180 because uh, most of them are owned by Grand Central and Hull Trains and I've never had any use for them. Also the Class 180s were once operated by Northern. I think it's between 2008 and 2010 or something like that. I don't know, you can google it. Yeah, it was pretty weird seeing a 180 in, nor in a Northern delivery and not on the Great Western Main Line. So now approaching 80, we can put on speed set. I mean, the thing about the class 180 in train sim is that it crashes the simulator a lot. But like, say if you're in the like scenario, the scenario editor, you put down the class 180, and then the sim crashes. Then you have to reload it, and then put on another 180, and then it crashes. Wait, ha. Like, was this product actually tested or something? Because it shouldn't do that. Same with the class 91 before the Armstrong Power has fixed it. Yeah, so the route we're on is the East Coast Mainline Northeast by DP Simulation. It's pretty. It's a very well made route. So, pretty much what they've done is they modeled the route from. Um, near Garforth to Newcastle. Thus we've done the branch out to Metro Centre and Middlesbrough. But they haven't done Yarm. So you're gonna have to reverse at Darlington. Oh 
Oh yeah, the dovetail lost the one needs to do the class 185 unit. Because it's very needed. Or it's needed very much. So this scenario is set on the bank holiday Monday of May 2019. It's pretty very it's it's, it's very busy for our bank holiday. Okay, you've got LNER trains from King's Cross to Newcastle, King's Cross to Edinburgh, you've got Trispine trains from Manchester Airport to uh, Middlesbrough and Newcastle. You've also got Liverpool Lime Street to Newcastle. They got cross country trains from Reading to Newcastle and Southampton to Newcastle. So you got a lot of trains. It's got it's got Grand Central as well. So we got about two miles to go to Thirsk. Class 182 does have a very nice cab. I do like a lot. I wish the TMS did something more important. Because at the moment it doesn't do anything. What's that? Dimmer switch. Didn't do anything. It's running off 40, we're watching Thirsk. He said disabled. Yeah, I'm coming down. So we've got a yellow, which means we have we're clear into the platform at third, so we can travel on the up fast. So you can see the platforms at Thursk. So I put the brakes into two and a half bars on the brake cylinder gauge. I think that's about step two, they're about one and a half without step one. Even though on the cost one eighty two the brakes are pretty much non steps or whatever the term is. So up at dusk we have a danger signal. I'm not sure if TPWS is actually fitted on the East Coast Main Line. Probably is. Probably not here though. So on arrival at the screw and stop right at the end of the platform. down. And arrived at Thursk. Do I put that reverse? They're good. On the DRA because we got a danger signal. So, arrive at Thursk at 16.41. One time. And we're due to leave at 16.43.
Why is the brakes wheel down still on? Because I'm perfectly stationary. I think it's a glitch. Do you want to open the doors? That's where I press T. The train sounds like if I turn off. Why is the brake school song still on? They shouldn't do that. So that was the train to King's Cross that was meant to overtake us. The next stop is York, arriving at 1659. That's better, it works, huh? So we've got a danger, danger signal. So I have to wait for that to clear. No, it has. So departing first, the speed limit is 40. Today goes to 65, then we cross over onto the up main at 50, and then up to 125. So hopefully on the stretch between your uh, between Thirsk and your we should get up to 125. We limit now is 65, going down to 50. And now that we are on the up main, the speed limit is now 125. And when I tested this scenario, we pretty much followed double yellows all the way to York. So I expect to hear the ADV words horn about 50 times. Because 180s do have good acceleration, not like barges. So the other day I went to Stockport to film a charter train from Peterborough to Hondudno. And I, I enjoyed it. Good thing it was cloudy, otherwise, otherwise I would have like bowled to death. So I got up at 7. I walked to the train station, that took an hour. Got the train into Manchester, Victoria. Changed there for a Transpennine train to Piccadilly. Changed there for a train to Stockport, and the train that I chose was the 1022 to Birmingham International. It was meant to be going to London Euston, but London Euston was closed for upgrade work. So, waiting trains, trains, all they went as far as Birmingham International and Milton Keynes. I know you like Pendolinos, they're very comfortable. I haven't been on one in about four years. So, it's not a small one again. Even though it was for like five minutes between Manchester Piccadilly and Stockport.
Yeah, we've pretty much got the double yellows all the way to York. We're now travelling at 120 miles an hour. Probably should start slowing down for the single yellows. Or I can just coast. Also, I also last week I also recorded the first episode of City Skyline Season 3, which I called Mass Transit because that is so original. I mean, it performed really well. It's been less than a week and it's already got 21 views, which is a lot more views than I anticipated. That was a cross country voyager to in Glasgow, I think. Okay, if you're wondering if this scenario will be on the Steam Workshop, the answer is no, because I used the Just Trains Voyager Advanced. So Steam Workshop doesn't allow third party model things. So the only way you're gonna So the only way you're going to see this scenario is um is this video. So we got a single yellow. So I got to Stockport, it was quite nice, and it's quite nice, and the charter train turned up which was formed of top and tail class 47s in West Coast Railway maroon type brown coloured thing. It was meant to stop at Stockport but it was running about 10 minutes late so I just passed through instead. That was kind of annoying because I was expecting a shot of 47 leaving. So. I, also saw, I also saw a call as class 60 with a train from Liverpool to Drax with biomass. Oh yeah, we we also due into York at sixteen fifty nine. But that's not gonna happen. I think I might speed up to seventy. Oh like seventy eighty. Also, season three of Transport Fever is also doing really well. I'm very enjoying the series. I can, I've already recorded episodes. Oh, wait, by the time you see this, see episodes 10 and 11 will already be made public, something like that. I'm thinking one episode, I'm, I think I might do a challenge of spending $1 billion on trains. I think I might create, create like a new hub somewhere. Or like a massive freight flow. Yeah, the challenge, uh, the challenge of spending one billion dollars in trains. That's a good challenge. So we have about 12 miles to go to York. Expected the time of arrival is 17 or 3. So about 4 minutes later there were timetable 2. I don't remember if the train in front of us is on time. Probably isn't. Probably a few minutes late. Like most trains in the UK.
Content articles are likely to be removed without warning. Yeah, you hear that a lot. Oh, do you know what the most frequent thing I hear in Victoria is? We are sorry to announce that the time Transparent Express service to destination has been cancelled. Transparent Express are sorry for the inconvenience caused because Transparent can't run their freaking trains. Well, that's what I heard for the timetable change. Now they're more reliable. This is Tolerton Junction, where the four trains for generation events died about two years ago. Sold down to about 90. It's gradually slowing down to 90. I don't think I've ever been on a class 180 before. So we've got our Transparent Express train to Middlesbrough that went over the new also car between Oxford Road and Victoria. Took about seven miles to go to York. So the current configuration of this part of the East Coast Main Line is up, up, down, down. So you got the up slow, the up fast, the down fast, and the down slow. So once we pass Gallon Junction, it'll become a different layout of up, down, up, down. So you've got the up fast, the down fast, the up slow, and the down slow. Don't know why they're pointing that out. Kind of obvious. So we've got a green. Because the train in front of the house going a bit further. There's a train to Newcastle from King's Cross. So I think we're approaching a sculpting junction. So this is sculpting junction where the track layout changes. Oh yeah. At uni, I joined the Gaming Society back in sep October, September, and now I am officially the Social Secretary for next year. Should be fun. 
So basically what I have to do is basically manage the socials I have in every week. Mainly just picking the game for tournaments. I think I've been told not to do Smash Bros every week because I think it's boring. I was maybe for using Crash Bandicoot as a tournament the Insane Trilogy. Where you can pick a level and the tournament will be who can finish a certain level in the, in the fastest time. Got a signal yellow? I think someone already did that with Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy. It also won. Somehow, I, I've never played Spyro in my entire life, and so high I won a tournament. Strange. We're going to be yellow as we approach York. I also forgot to populate the yard with stuff. Oops. So the next signal is just around this left corner. So I think on the way in we're waiting for a HST to Sterling to leave. You have a warning for 50 miles an hour. Even though the speed limit into York is 30, we can see that we've got a dangerous, dangerous signal at the end of the straight section. Start slowing down a bit more. So we're on. Hopefully, we're not aiming to stop at the stage. Stop at the signal. Just slowly call up to it. So on the right is York Siemens Depot, where Transparent Express store their 185 units. I'm wondering if there's an, a way for an, an electric train to get from Manchester to Leeds. Who oh, isn't? Because the Calder Valley and the Huddersfield line are, aren't electrified yet. We know highly doubt the Cardiff line will ever be electrified. Too many tunnels. We've got a yellow into platform 5. So we are now cleared into York Station. I like on the Clash 180 if you... Like you can have the wipers like this, or you can have the wipers like this. Strange. I think this is the only unit in Jersey that can do that. Unless I'm wrong, probably wrong. So at York Station we're aiming to stop somewhere in the middle of the platform near the footbridge. So there's a 150 on the right going to Leeds via Harrogate.
and this is York where the video ends. I hope you mean oh there's an intro one on the right with a test tray to Toy Catcher. I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, had I had fun driving the Cut 180. Leave a like, subscribe, comment something, and I'll see you later.